think we'll save story time for later. slams into the station, we're all gonna be a lot warmer. Let's detach the last car. The coupler's locked with a card key. And where are we going to get this car key? It's probably in the engineer's cab. But the car goes in the way. Then we better find one in this car. Hey, what if we don't find one? We're toast. I think this part is genuinely RNG. There's just random boxes you open, and it reminds me of Final Fantasy X? Like the animation? I think it might. There's something familiar about that, I think. Like, this motherfucker, you just try to click on these boxes, and it's just a no- Like, please? Please? Have the key card? God. God, please? Hey! You better fucking use it. Man, this is so hashtag relatable. You're trying to save your girlfriend from ninjas, but then the, then the train you're on starts exploding its rocket fuel because of a... A Gatling gun on a, on a stealth bomber that's attacking you. On your way to go fight anime Steve Jobs. This is just normal. This is a normal, normal, I guess I'll anime Elon Musk. That went well. Looks like we're still alive. Stay sharp. We're in Mikado's domain now. Let's get going. So this is my favorite, my first ever Square Soft game. <laughs> this is my introduction to them as a company. This isn't good. The emergency shutters are activated. So we're dead if we get trapped. Can't go back now. Let's push on. I can't believe they're attacking us. It's really love their job. An interesting little inclusion. Hey, out of my way! Like, this part of the game has, like, these pass-fail missions where you, you, like, you just try to accomplish something. And, like, I think it branches the story or changes the next mission based on how you do. God damn it. Get out of my way. I think we're supposed to run away before the emergency shutters, but also your character locks on to these guys when they get nearby. I actually don't know if it's smart for me to just be running like I am. That just goes back. That's not good. Go away. Your character your character wants to fight them. So I might I might be playing this wrong. But they told me to run basically, so I'm trying to run. We have to like escape the dudes. Go away. Which that's a decent escape. <laughs> Go away. Camera? Help. There's no camera controls in this game. Whoa, how did you guys get here? We ya! I'm not going backwards, am I? 
They just confuse me with camera and cutscene transition. So that's a. I, I assume you can't just go backwards. It would be pretty funny if they were just forcefully making me replay the hallway every time I ran past it. Okay, this is new. That's good. We have Volt's book in it. It's a little weird because it's he, he, for, you have to like avoid the entire radius around each enemy or to try to fight them. But yeah, it's like having a Crash Bandicoot run from the boulder section, except it's full of enemies. You're trying to figure out which way they want you to go with that. I don't know, maybe I just passed out on a bunch of experience. But I think there is a genuine pass-fail based on your timing or something. An emergency exit. Does it lead outside? This is the only exit, man. We don't have much of a choice. Three years ago? What is it? Master Wong hasn't come home. What? He said something weird a while ago, but I didn't expect him to disappear so suddenly. Have you notified the police? He could have been involved in some accident. No accident could kill him. Even if someone tried to murder him. That old man wouldn't die. I always like it though if, if the failure state is some kind of actual... fail state that works. Instead of just being like, game over, try again, like, just continue forward, like in a, like Pyre or Shenmue, the, fir the first Shenmue had QTEs that, if you failed them, it's like, that's just what happened, canonically, move on with your life. And until dawn and games like that do that, where the story branches based on what you're doing. Look at how baffling this location is already. At this point, you were like, okay, there's like high-tech military stuff going on. An air carrier. They must be looking for us. Out of the frying pan and into the fire, eh? What now? We'll hit your ride. Oh, what a wonderful idea. So should we just go up to them and say please? We'll look for a chance to jump on. It's going to be a long shot. Okay. Now! This is insane. What the hell? Up until now, you can almost accept, like, oh, this is like some kind of vaguely modern day, but, you know, there's some high-tech there's some high -tech military stuff going around, but, like, that's, like, normal. Military stuff's expensive. Yes. That was just hovercrafts. Like, oh, okay, okay, I'm recalibrating my expectations here. <laughs> what this world is. Admittedly, there was already a panther, which... <laughs> okay. This is made all the funnier by the fact that when I played this game, it was probably the most, like, gritty and realistic real-life simulation I've ever seen in a video game. Because every game is, like, up until now, I was playing games that were so inherently... Let's say, let's save up for another a new ability. I think I was playing such fantastical and fantasy, and that's the same word, basically. Like, video, video games. Mascot platformers, Star Wars video games, like... No attempt at touching reality. Hey. Yes? <laughs> Keep flying this thing. Yes, sir. So in a way, this was like the most realistic game I'd ever played as a ten-year-old. Why? <laughs> Dominique! Yo, driver, drop us off over there. <laughs> he got away. Vold, you scared him. It's a ballsy move. If you work for this company, I don't think they want you to, like, crash one of their aircraft into the power plant. <laughs> You passed it. Damn it.
two years ago. Here, congratulations. Are you sure? Of course. You got that job at Mikado, right? But can you afford this? <laughs> Don't worry. Thank you. I'll treasure it. Okay, but don't go locking it away in some box. It's a pendant. You're supposed to wear it. I like that this power plant's like, no, we're green, see? There's literally a suspended forest in the middle of our power plant. Why? I could have nine lives for this mission. It still wouldn't be enough. Just be grateful you're alive. Yeah, yeah. It's telling that he called it a mission. That dome. I'm sure I saw Dominique in there. Let's go check it out. Easier said than done. He's obviously got connections, as was immediately established. Like, how long his pants are? Cyborg dogs, obviously. Fancy pets, eh? I'm sure they're more than that. Like I said, easier said than done. Shut up. We don't want them to find us. They're presumably dogs, but better. I assume they already found you. forces look at all the security this has got to be the place yeah Dominique must be in there you saw her <laughs> my way. I bet she's inside this building she saw her in God, I can do low kicks on the dogs I don't like this part <laughs> kick the dog yeah stop it Volt. I'm trying to kick the dog there we go You gonna get me? You gonna come after me? Oop. Shit. Oh yeah, right, you press the direction at the same time. Ow. It's not enough to be holding the direction, you have to press the direction like right when you press the attack. Fuck. This will take some getting used to. God damn it. Ugh. Okay, this is getting to be a problem. Definitely one of the clunkiest problems is that you straight up can't control who you're attacking. So whoever decides to lock onto near you, you're just kind of dealing with that problem. <laughs> Sweep kick! I'll be honest here though, we're here for the- we're here for the cutscenes. We're here for the... The confusing L everything? Torpedo kick. Explosive donkey kick. Made by rolling to build up momentum. Dominique! Hope I don't ever die, because I might have to replay from whenever I last saved. <laughs> and I'll really pay for all these moments where I try to save 10 seconds. I knew he'd be here. It's you! How does it feel to have your woman taken away from you? I'll save her after I bust you up. Unfortunately, that's not how this story goes. Here, we have the advantage. You don't stand a chance. You will never get the girl back! A particular brand of, like, unhinged not anime villain. Licking lips and standing weird. Looking like he looks like a reanimated doll. Like he looks like a pup like a puppet on strings. Nope. Right, I should try to look into it, except I can't. Wow. It's a different button. <laughs> His name's Mugetsu. Alright, so out. Dick move. Here. How do I do the... 
There it is. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good unlock. That's a good unlock. That's a hell of a kick. Come here, Mugetsu. Who is the most fun character to play in multiplayer. As you play through this game, you unlock everybody in multiplayer and you just fight each other, which just used to be a standard feature in video games a lot of the time. Like, Silent Bomber had that, too. No matter how ridiculous half the enemies were, you could, you could go into this weird hologram arena and fight each other as them. It was nice to have an optional multiplayer mode where you could fight each other in your single-player game. That said, when I, I it did muddy my memories of this game a bit, because when I came back to play this game with Andrew a few years ago, I, I thought it was a co-op game. Because I'm like, yeah, there's three. you play as three characters, obviously. There's three, so it must be a three-player co-op game because I remembered playing multiplayer. But no, the multiplayer was just the the multiplayer was just the uh, the, the, the the versus thing. I'm not gonna lose anyone else ever again. Ever again, wow, ambitious. This thing's pretty big up close. That's what things do. I don't know how we're gonna get past this. Not giving up yet. It's like watching King's Quest characters solve problems. That song. Two years ago. What do you mean an accident? There was an accident at Mikaido. And what hospital is she in? <laughs> she didn't make it. Huh? It was a massive explosion. You're lying. S Sion. That's a lie. Transfer Dominique to the Galios. We will proceed according to plan. But the satellite control center has not been repaired since yesterday's explosion. What do you mean, Wong? Dominique has returned. It is now possible. But... As chief executive officer, I order you, Wong. I beg to differ. My allegiance belongs to your predecessor. You are only using the Mercado Group to fulfill your own selfish agenda. What would Master Mikado think of your abuse? Please, for your sister's sake! Then do you intend to stop me by force, Master Wong? That's Duragon. Why is that old geezer fighting him? Master? In Eastern cultures, they say there's only one way to repay one's master, by surpassing him. This is my payback to you, master. No! Forgive me, Sion. Mikado must be stopped. Master! You... Must do it, Zion. Master. I see that you have studied under Wong. That would explain why you've been so difficult to deal with. I'm avenging my master, and I'm taking back Dominique. She is my sister. I'm the one who will take her back. What? I should thank you for protecting her. Is there any way I can repay you? Do you take me for a fool? I guess I have no choice but to fight you then. So be it. 
I'll show you how it feels to be utterly powerless. I will take on all three of you at once. I shall add another handicap as well. You're out of your mind! You don't stand a chance! I don't think that that's the, uh... The limitation he's implying it to be. <laughs> uh, Duragon's a fucking problem. Duragon C. Mikado. As the announcer would say every time you pick him. And then be disappointed he's not nearly as strong uh, in multiplayer as he seems in campaign. Oh, stop it. Bullshit Neo. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop it. Stop, stop it. Oh my god. No. 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 Somebody else hit him for a second. <laughs> Please. Oh god. <laughs> Help. 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 I'll fight the- I'll fight the cat. I'm sure it's harder, so this is a bad plan. Oh, it's almost dead, though. Can't- it's camera angle. Did not do me any favors. Look at this cowardly lion just backing away. Like me. Oh, they're destro- wow, they're destroying Durahan. Duragon. Dragon. Dra- oh! <laughs> That's how it ended! That's how the fight ended. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's good to have some uh, some upgrade mechanics here. Because I need them badly! But yeah, much like Dead, games like Dead Rising and whatnot, you could just play the game over and over again to keep leveling up your characters if you're having trouble. Next time, try using both hands. Wong has taught you well. <laughs> Apparently, I have underestimated you. But how about this? It was fun while it lasted, but I have other more pressing matters. As does Dominique. How the fuck did that work? Time, Dominique. And why does he have a jacket that just has a chain on it? Please open up! My sister, she's dying! Oh dear, where are your mother and father? Uh, one, one moment. Doctor! Doctor! I'm sorry. The doctor's on a house call right now. You'll have to find another hospital. Please! I don't have anywhere else to go! Please! Please save my sister! <laughs> Are you all right? Good heavens! To the hospital, quickly! At once, sir. Master Mikado wishes to adopt you as his son. Under one condition. Condition? You must become worthy of inheriting the Mikado group. Obviously, you must excel scholastically, but you must also train your body and soul. I understand. I would be more than happy to return this favor in any way possible. You will learn all disciplines, for your sake and for your sisters as well. done well in succeeding your father. You've endured harsh training, and you've matured into a young man in whom anyone would be proud. Your father will rest easy knowing that his legacy lies in good hands. From now on, you will lead the Mikado group.
I think this was probably the most significant branching point, actually. So th I think we're separated. Two years ago. Chaldea. Hey, watch it. Huh? Who the hell do you think you are running into me like that without an apology? What's with that pathetic look on your face? What, your girlfriend dump you? So each playthrough will get a genuinely different mission now. Not just branching dialogue. That chain is such an ineffective way of, like, restraining his arm voluntarily. But it's just there all the time for some reason. <laughs> This raises questions, right? About, like, what's up with that guy's... Ow, shit. Stop it. At this point, you're like, okay, so what's up with, what's up with that guy's, uh... Trapdoor he's got there? Why? So it doesn't lead to, like, an incinerator, or a jail cell, or anything. It just... It's apparently, it's like, it must be, like, three different, like, vents that send people in three or more different locations throughout your facility at random. Including in this case, just like a storage closet somewhere that no one's really particularly guarding. Duragon, what's what's your fucking plan, bro? You built you had to like build this over time. Where's Dominique? Is this job really worth your life? Jeez. He helped you. <laughs> this guy is really like not sympathetic <laughs> as a protagonist. The other guys seem vaguely likable, but this guy is like, can I pick up that CD? It looks weirdly interactive. Uh, but, like, he always defaults to like threatening people's life in a way that protagonists don't normally do in these kinds of stories. In fact, like. On the other hand, we've got like fucking Kiryu, who's actually in like a hard, a hard crime drama setting, and even he is like, it's, like, it's like constantly implied that he's like le letting everyone survive, and, and Kiryu never kills anyone, and so on. Fucking Sion doesn't give a shit. He'll snap your neck just to get some information. But like nothing about his, his voice actor or character appearance as a, as a fucking JRPG protagonist tween. I give off the implication that he's some kind of like fucking hardcore killer man. So you're like you're just not ready for the weirdly intense lines because nothing about him is screaming he's gonna be that guy. And his design being reused for Sora only it further amplifies how confusing his lines are. You're like, Jesus, calm down, Sion. I'm sure Dominic's gonna be okay. <laughs> this donkey kick is so good. Ooh, I think if you combo people, you get a multiplier. Yeah, because that was a 35 instead of 25. Yeah. Not always easy, though. I could use defense, then I'll try to get another skill, I think. Hey! I think my strategy is to rank everything up by one stat point and then get another skill. This new skills really, like, I don't know which ones are which, but they really amplify how effective you are. I'm listening to this, those audio cues during cutscenes and how dramatic they are and kind of intrusive almost, and I'm like, you know what? Deadly Premonition makes more sense all of a sudden. Because like that, it seems like that guy just never aged out of the era that he was used to, and that's why his needle drops are so weird. With Life is Beautiful and Comedy Relief and all these other songs that I, 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 I love, but are so strangely implemented into that game. And it's like, well, this one, like, who knows? Yeah, I think there might be opportunities to find boxes around here, like the ones we saw before. I'm actually kind of unclear how explorable this is and what the deal is with this place. Obviously, it looks a little samey. Like, I'm not sure if I doubled back to the place where I slammed the guy into the wall in the cutscene, or if that was just a genuinely new place. We're just kind of we're just kind of going with it. 
<clears throat> some of these doors work, some of them don't. Did I just go backwards? Did every other door not work? I think I think so. Just start hitting everything, Xeon. Come on. Bull in a china shop just ruined this whole place. Is that the satellite? Hexagons. I don't think I think that's a, that might be a molecular structure though, not just arbitrary sci-fi hexagons like I'm used to. Hey everybody. There's robots! You guys have droids? Honestly, it seems surprisingly low-tech compared uh -huh! to so what I've dealt with up until now. No! Ow. <laughs> you think we No! Stop it! P101, stop it! This robot needs to die. It just needs to die. You in particular. This charge attack cannot be allowed to happen anymore. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, the, the Donkey Kick is great because it also dodges some of their attacks. Which is just a strong advantage to have. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Hello, thank you for not noticing the fight that whole time. Reminds me a little bit of fighting Gone in Tekken 3. Where you're just like, I, my moveset is not designed to hit you. I would appreciate it if you stopped being a weird, short, not shaped like everybody else enemy. Because you're going to cause me some problems here. <laughs> 